Hi. How are you? Doing all right. Busy. I'll just sit there and think about busy, it. Andy. Busy. Andy's excited. How excited are you, Andy? Wow. <laughs> that excited. Love Andy. Double thumb. <laughs> What's up, Yens guys? Welcome back to Fishing PA with Ryan Reed. Guys, in this video, I wanna talk about a recent event that I was able to attend up in the great state of New York, right on Chautauqua Lake. And that event was the first ever New York Muskie Expo. So guys, my plan for this video is to just share my experience at the New York Muskie Expo. That's what I wanna do. I wanna share pictures, I wanna share footage, I wanna walk you guys through what my experience was, and my main objective for these videos is to show you guys just how awesome these musky expos can be. That's the only reason I do these videos. I wanna get new people involved in the sport of musky fishing. I got involved in musky fishing simply by going to the musky max. So by sharing these videos, I share my love of musky fishing, my love of musky expos with you guys, and I just wanna show you guys how awesome these shows can be. Now, the New York Muskie Expo was actually held at the Chautauqua Suites and Expo Center right there on the north end of Chautauqua Lake in Mayville, New York. The show actually occurred on Saturday, April 9th and Sunday, April 10th. Now, for those of you that do not know what a musky expo is, a musky expo is an opportunity for you as a consumer to go out on site at an awesome venue and really, you get an opportunity to look at musky gear like I have here on the table. Whether that's fishing rods, nets, bump boards, lures, lots and lots of lures. Vendors of all sorts come out to these shows, they bring products, and it gives you an opportunity to kind of view those products on site and pick up some new gear for the upcoming season. In addition to that, these expos always have good guide services. Now, some of those guide services that were at the New York Muskie Expo included the Muddy Creek Fishing Guides with Todd Young and Vance Kalos. We also had Ken Trail from Rock On Charters down in Virginia. We had Chase Gibson and Gibson's Guide Service out of West Virginia. We had the legendary Tony Grant from Cave Run Muskie Guide Service and the Muskie Lodge the legendary Tony Grant. All right guys, I'm here at the New York Muskie Expo with the one and only Tony Grant. So, uh, how's things going? Well, you know, it's, it's a musky show and we're there at least. You know, it's been, a, what, canceled for a year or two, so they finally got to have one up here and that's all cool. Uh, you know, we're off and running down at Cave Run Lake, uh, running mostly from the weather because the weather has sucked. <laughs> oh, that's been brutal. Uh, you know, normally our fish are paired up uh, ready to spawn right now we're still getting about a 46 48 degree water temperatures which is really cool so we'll be behind uh, one good thing it should uh, mean we can fish a little longer you know it gets hot down there so hopefully but you never know but the water levels down there are great uh, everything looks good except for the weather we, today is i just talking with scott back at the he's out guiding it's colder there than it is here and they've got snow and ice to sleep <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. This is a you know there are so many bait manufacturers here at this show yep. that uh, there's some good stuff here and a lot of dollars and lures and a lot of group. You know these up east guys don't get a whole lot of opportunity to go to go to the shows unless they travel a long ways and uh, you know I, 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 the, the amount of lure manufacturers here the uh, the quality of these trolling baits they got here is just crazy. Yeah, it is nuts. And there's guys you get to see like crazy old Toothy back there. You know he mm -hmm. is. I haven't seen him in five or six years at the sport shows. He's back there. I seen the line for that uh, DKs today was crazy. Of course, Baker, he's always selling out. So, 
you know, it, for a first show, uh, you know, they're doing what they can do, and that's all you can do. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, are you having a good time here? I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You're fun. always happy. You, I always anywhere have fun. as musky, you're gonna be. That's exactly right. It, it's all good, and you know, looking forward to the PMTT season uh, yes. coming up. That you know, it, I don't know what this cold spring is gonna mean for that. We kicked it back so that we could be a little bit more out of the spawn, and maybe we might be right in it. Who knows? But it is fishing, and it's musky fishing, which you makes it worse. Yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing some pictures out of your lodge this year. Well, hopefully we'll get some. We've uh, 46 is a, and a half is our biggest so far. I haven't got a ton over 40, uh, but it, 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 you know, I'll be the first one to tell you. I'm honest about it. It's been some tough fishing. Out there. One great day out of every six or seven days. So, it's been pretty tough, but hopefully I'll turn around. Yeah, we'll get there soon. All right, man. Good seeing you. Good shows seeing you. Thanks, yeah, man. Good seeing you, Tony. All right, see Thanks. you, man. Mike Holbert was in the house as well. There were a number of excellent guide services available at the New York Muskie Expo. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you're planning a muskie trip or you wanna go out there and catch your first muskie, this guide service lineup was second to none. There were a lot of big sticks there, guys that catch a lot of fish, guys like Tony Grant that have been doing this for many, many years. That's what part of these shows are for. Guide services and the opportunity for you guys to come out and talk to these professionals one-on-one -on -one at a booth and potentially schedule a trip for the upcoming season. Not only that, but sometimes these guide services will actually do seminars. Okay, so these musky expos, it's kind of a combination of like tons of gear, opportunities to book trips, opportunities to listen to very talented fishermen, and really what the whole weekend is about for me and many other musky fishermen, not only in our local area, but from all over the country, it gives you guys a chance to come out, immerse yourself in the sport of musky fishing, talk muskies and musky fishing for an entire weekend. Now I can tell you guys, the New York Muskie Expo gave me opportunities to talk to guys that I've only talked to online, and I was able to talk to these guys face-to-face -face, in person. Those experiences, those are things that I cherish and I'll never forget. Just a ton of opportunities to talk to very talented fishermen, bait makers, product vendors, all of the sorts. So that's what a Muskie Expo is for. And I can tell you for the New York Muskie Expo, Zach Baker of Baker Baits and Steve Gold of Trophy Time Leaders and Lures did an excellent job putting the show together pulling all of these awesome resources into one venue and giving you guys an awesome weekend to be immersed by musky fishing. One of the most important aspects to a musky expo or a musky show is obviously the vendors. The, the vendors and their products are what bring you out to these events. Now for the New York musky expo, the vendor list or the vendors that really attended this event was like premier from top to bottom. So when I talk about spotlighting vendors, it's really difficult to do that for the New York Muskie Expo because the vendor list was just so good throughout the entire roster. But I do want to say that there were a few bigger draws to the New York Muskie Expo. Now, this is just my opinion. We don't have a lot of time to run through every single vendor that attended this show. But for time's sake, I'm going to give you my top, you know, so many. And then we'll kind of work down through some of the other ones that, I, that I've highlighted. So first and foremost, on my vendor spotlight, I had Zach Baker and Baker Musky Baits. Okay, Zach brought a ton of product. He had a lot of different versions of his baits. He had the fours, the five, the sixes. He had through wire. He had some of the bigger stuff, you know, the seven and a halfs and even bigger. Um, there were a lot of cool custom colors and this was a great opportunity for you as a consumer, you as a faithful follower in the Baker Musky Baits, an opportunity to come out here and put some more product in your tackle box. It was great. Zach brought it for the New York Muskie Expo. Number two, DK Muskie Lures. Now Dave wasn't in the house on site, but his baits had a ride along with the Fat AZ Muskie products. So Andy, Todd, and Vance were selling the DK Lures out of their booth. Now again, DKs put a ton of fish in the boat. They put a ton of big fish in the boat. Prime example, Donnie Swink, Mike Sonoris, leave the New York Muskie Expo on Saturday, go out to a local lake in PA, and they essentially bang a 50-inch Pennsylvania Muskie on a DK lure. This is why you line up early, you get in line, and you purchase baits like DKs. 
they put fish in the boat. Now, I know Donnie's put probably three, four, five, six more fish in the boat this year on his DK. So, you know, again, this is a vendor highlight. That vendor having DK musky lures at the New York Musky Expo, huge draw and an opportunity for you as a consumer to get a very sought after bait. Now, we also had Duff from Supernatural. I was super pumped about this. An opportunity to talk to Duff in person, take a look at the matlocks, the headlocks, the new 8.5s the new casting mat locks. Duff had it all. It was an opportunity to talk to one of the best bait makers in the country and pick up some products. Those baits, regardless of what people say about PA reservoirs, those baits catch fish. So I got a couple of those. It was an awesome opportunity and yet another awesome vendor for the New York Muskie Expo. Now we also had True Glide there. For those of you that know True Glide, Top notch, very sought after musky lures. They're one of the best built baits in the country. They go for like 300, 350 bucks. You know, if you wanted a very awesome bait, again, True Glide, this was an opportunity for you to get there at the New York Musky Expo. However, there were a lot of other vendors there, like vendors that to me are a big deal, like vendors that really, I love their products, vendors that put a ton of fish in the boat as far as baits go. So this vendor list, guys, this was a huge deal. But you also had like other vendors there, and I'm just gonna name one in particular. You had Crystal from Coyote Sunglasses. Okay, I can't really remember seeing like a legit sunglasses type vendor at a musky show. So Crystal brought some units out. I know Katia's using those things. I know they're very like cost effective, but really nice pair of sunglasses. And if you're like me, you're constantly losing your sunglasses. So that was kind of a big deal to me, you know, seeing a vendor like that. And then also another big deal was like the Garmin Electronics. You know, having like an electronics company on site to do a seminar, to show you their products, that was a clutch thing that I've never seen at a musky show. So very cool vendor list that Steve and that Zach put together for the New York Musky Expo. And what that translates in is to multiple opportunities for you as a consumer. Now, everybody that knows me just knows that I love musky fishing. I love muskies and I absolutely love musky show season. From January through April now, I just absolutely love these opportunities to travel, to get out on site and just be a part of this stuff. So whenever I found out about New York, this kind of extended my show season by really a month and a half. And it was one of those things that I've been saving money for, I was preparing for, I was excited for. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. Again, I wanna share my experience from the time we left my house on Friday all the way through the end of the weekend until now. All right, so my experience for the New York Muskie Expo was a little different than past expos. I actually talked my wife Deanna into going to the show with me. We booked a hotel for Friday night and Saturday night at the Chautauqua Suites and Expo Center. And I was just planning on staying like self-contained in that hotel with the show the entire weekend. So we made plans accordingly. You know, we reached out months in advance. We got the hotel room. And that was really probably one of the more special things about the New York Muskie Expo. You guys are gonna hear it from me a lot through this video. So if you like to drink during my video and play drinking games, you're gonna get plenty of opportunities to do that with some of these phrases. So Deanna and I kind of turned this into a long weekend vacation. So what we did was we took Friday off from work and we just kind of got up early. We had everything packed the night before. We loaded up the car and we just started driving towards Chautauqua Lake. Day for I-90 East, Fort Buffalo. Take exit 178A. Wait, it's slippy. It's Be careful, slippy. Yim, Yins, Pennsylvanians. It's slippy. Now this was kind of a cool thing because we knew we didn't really have to be there until like mid-afternoon for me to get some footage of the setup. So we took our time going up. And for us, that's a three hour drive. It was just kind of a cool morning because we got to drive up to Cranberry. We got something to eat. We hit a few stores. I picked up some new jeans. Everybody laughs at me because I buy more musky lures than I do jeans. It's probably been like three years since I bought a pair of jeans and probably at least three years since I bought a pair of shoes. 
I was well overdue, so that's what we did. We kind of just went up, we hit the outlets up there in Grove City, and we did a little bit of shopping. It was just kind of a cool little morning and afternoon on our way up to Chautauqua. We hit some really weird weather, which was kind of interesting. Take exit eight, then turn left onto New York 394 West. But ultimately, guys, we made it to Hogan's Hut. We got a quick hoagie, and we headed over to the uh, the hotel there in Mayville. So after we got all settled into the hotel, my main objective was to start filming. I wanted to show you guys some clips and some pictures of the setup. Thank you. Why am I looking out there? I'm not splitting. No, you look good. If I ruin Big Rich's display, it'll kill me. What are we doing over here? You know, bitch I should have done last week. We're cooks. That sounds like fun. Oh, it's a blast. Oh, look at that. Strawberry and maple. Look at you. The dirty part of uh, bait making right here. Split lead. I don't know why you're using the afro brain. Here we go. <laughs> Love it. How's it going? Good, how are you? I mean, I don't like to get some gun service, but I'd put it along the wall there. <laughs> Did you drink all your beer yet? Did not? <laughs> Hi, how are you guys? Nice to see you. Hi, buddy. How are you, man? Well, Good to see you. Buddy. What'd you, what? Is Tom already shopping? Is Tom already shopping? Yeah. I don't know. You tell me. Where's yeah, he at? Sam. Maybe once he's he... after the toads. You know what? He, he probably found some kind of like uh, croc gibbet <laughs> store. Make sure you get that in there. Oh, I'm going to get up and close too. I'm going to making my setup rounds and then I'm going to make you talk to me tomorrow too. All right, I'll talk to you. All right. And I can just tell you guys, it was very cool being a part of that. I got to talk to Steve Gold and Zach Baker, and I really got to hang out with some of the vendors who were setting up on Friday. Just a very cool thing to be a part of. And again, watching these shows kind of come to life, it's just a very special thing. It was just like a super cool experience to just be a part of that, watch people set up their booths, and just kind of get amped for Saturday morning at the show. I was really thankful for that opportunity 
And I really just want to thank Steve Gold and Zach Baker for having me up to do this sort of thing and just allow me to be a part of something special in the first ever Muskie Expo in New York. So after we left the essentially the showroom, uh, we just kind of went to dinner and we got to go eat dinner with Owen Seaman and his family, uh, Tom Venata and Kayla. Um, and then we also kind of got to hang out with Evan and Charlie and Dan and I actually had dinner with Evan and Charlie at one of the restaurants in the hotel. So again, like self-contained, like you guys could go to the bar, you could get drinks, you could get food. You don't have to worry about driving. The car is parked and you're there for the entire weekend. I cannot tell you guys how freaking clutch that was. That was super cool. It was just super awesome that I could just like leave that room, walk directly into the, the restaurant and order dinner. It was a very cool experience and I really thought that stood out from a lot of these other expos. So again, like Steve and Zach, like kudos for that venue. That was a sweet deal. It was just like a really cool thing to have Deanna there, hanging out with guys that I fish with, you know, some of my closest musky friends in the community. Um, it was just a really awesome night on Friday night. I was pretty amped on Friday night. I really didn't sleep much. We tossed and turned a lot. I was excited. I was freaking pumped. And I, I was just like super pumped. I had a couple of baits on my list. You guys can see that I absolutely blew that out of the water. And you know, it was just like, it was just like anxious. I was like excited to get there. I was excited to see the turnout. I was excited to talk to vendors like Slobland. Um, I was excited to talk to like Duff Thurry from like Supernatural Baits. I was just like pumped to get to see Zach's booth. He always brings it. I was just like pumped to see all these other vendors that really like some of them I never even really talked to at a show. And that was just like the big draw for me. You know, there was guys from West Virginia. There was guys from Ohio. There was lots of talented bait makers from the great state of New York. There was a Canadian influence. We had some DK baits in the house with the Fat AZ booth. I mean, this was just like, it was just building all night. Like in my brain, I was just like every hour that turned, I was just getting really, really pumped up. And I was just getting like really excited. And then Dan calls me and tells me he's on his way up. He's like, wants to be first in line. He was supposed to stay in my hotel room. So I was like, all right, let's do this. Let's get you in here, get you some sleep and get you out in line. Like I was just like, I was excited and I couldn't sleep. And that's just how I am. Because why? I love this stuff. And you're gonna hear me say, I love this stuff because one of my faithful listeners told me she likes to play a drinking game every time I say that. So that's all part of this fun, but I really do enjoy these shows immensely. And I was just like, I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I was pumped. I was ready to go. So the alarm clock goes off. I get up, I get ready, throw on my gear. And I basically run down to the expo and I get inside and I start filming. And I just want to share that walkthrough with you guys really quick so you can get an idea of what the New York Muskie Expo show looked like when everything was set up and ready to go for Saturday morning. What's going on over here? Just checking out all the oven, good stuff. We got meatloafs, freshly baked. We're eating meatloafs for breakfast. 
Yeah, we got my, we got meat pies. We got all yeah. sorts of stuff. We're here with Evan, Charlie. We're lucky to have him here. He came all the way up from PA. Evan's been making baits for plenty of years. Catch tons of fish, and I think they're hotter now than they've ever been. Yeah, I'll say How many years, really? Evan? Uh, probably close to 12, 14 years. You've been doing it that long. Yeah. Hey, and now all of a sudden, it's they're everywhere. Yep. Outstanding. Evan's Thank a great you. person. Baits are blowing up, yeah, catching awesome. more fish than ever. And I think it's self-fulfilling when you hear about baits catching fish, more people use them, more fish get caught, and we have good people excelling. And that's why I'm so happy to have Evan here, you know, coming up to the New York Muskie Expo. These baits absolutely crush fish up here at Chautauqua. And I think when guys take them back from this show to fish their local lakes, they're gonna be they're gonna be so happy, you know, that they came here. I got to meet Evan. I got a great bait. Baits last. They catch a lot of fish. And uh, lucky to have him here. Thank you. One of the key shots I wanted to bring you guys for the New York show was I wanted to get a shot of what they were doing for the guys that got there in line. Okay, now you guys know getting in line early for these musky expos is just special to me. I think that's a cool way to make a memory. I think it's an awesome way to just get out early and just get hyped for these shows. Um, I just think it's a cool thing when guys show up super early to get the baits they want and be a part of the show. Dan and I did it for years. So, you know, my goal with this is I knew that Steve was going to be doing some like raffles. And I, when I when I thought about these raffles, I was thinking, oh, he's going to raffle a couple baits here and there. Dude, Steve absolutely brought it. After I found out what he was doing, I had to get this stuff on film. Hey, Steve, what are we doing? We're the guys that showed up early. We made several bait bags up. They're all $100 bags. And we're just gonna go in, give them something to do. They can buy a spot for $10. 10, there'll be 10 tickets. We'll draw it out. The next one, we may take a coffee cup and give them 10 quarters. First one in the cup wins the bag. All right. So we're just gonna keep them busy until the show doors open. Awesome, that's a good idea. Hey, hey guys, on this first one, you see the mystery bag? Nothing in. They're out there. It, I got 10 tickets here. They're $10 a piece. I promise you, not a single bag has got anything less than $100 in it. But we wanted to do something for you guys to come in line. So if 10 of you want a ticket, Take one. as soon as we get it filled up, we're going to draw it. You get to pick your bag. Zero one six. Hey, yeah. oh. <laughs> Good luck. Free draw. Free draw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at my second ticket. Nice win, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Good, Good job. Pick my winner. Hey, 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 Oh, you look at it. He's looking at his ticket. <laughs> Zero, seven, three. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 
It's a nice white bag. It's like for me, and I'm going to tell you now, it's going to be a DK bait. It's a special sign to York Expo. All right? I'll wait a few minutes before I come in. It was important to me. Because again, if you guys showed up to the New York Muskie Expo, if you went to the Expo, you had an opportunity to get some pretty awesome gear. There were Baker baits. There were trophy time leaders and lures. There were DKs. Pretty much like a lot of these high-end vendors provided like multiple baits and like every single raffle was worth at least a hundred bucks. It was insane. And Steve just kept bringing them and kept doing them. And what the way he did this was like when you were in line, they filed everybody into like the seminar room. He got everybody in, said, hey, I got this bag here. Let's do 10 at 10. So 10 tickets to do the raffle throw your 10 bucks in and you had an opportunity to win like a hundred dollar plus bag. That was such a sweet way to like pass the time. You as a consumer standing in line at the New York Muskie Expo, you got to do this and that was super special. I absolutely love that. And I love being a part of that and getting some of these shots on camera. So again, Steve Gold, Zach Baker, tremendous job with that. I thought that was such a fun and cool way to engage people that got to the show early. So, you know, getting there early on Saturday morning, walking around, you know, being as hyped as I normally get, just, just like genuinely excited. You know, I'm seeing a lot of smiling faces. There was a lot of positive energy. Um, the vendors there were excited to sell products and talk fishing. You know, the guys and the girls at the door and in that seminar room, they seem genuinely excited to be there. So I just want to share this clip with you guys to get to show you what it was like to be there right before the show started. All right, guys, New York Muskie Expo. How's everybody feeling? Yeah. Everybody excited? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are we here for? Muskie baits. Muskie baits. What else? What else are we here baits. for? Muskie rods. Rods. Lord. Lures. Lures. Nets. The party. The party. Beer. You guys are here for beer. Just the stickers. Just the stickers. <laughs> That's amazing. Now, you guys know, like from Muskie Max, Todd Lee Party gave me this awesome idea to interview the first person in line. So I wanted to do that. I wanted to get the first person in line on camera, just do a quick interview. And that person was none other than my one of my best friends, Dan Lutton. Dano literally drove up at 8 p.m. on Friday, got to the hotel at 11.30. I offered him a room, somewhere to sleep, and he wanted to sit outside of that door and wait for the show to open. So he sat outside, I wanna say at least from 2 a.m. up until open, okay? It just, it blows my mind how excited and just genuine he is about these shows. He loves it. He loves it more than I do. He wants to be there early and be a part of this stuff. So here's that quick interview with Dan in the front of the line. Like what time did you get here this morning? <laughs> 25 to 12. Yeah, that was, that was a shitty How day. long have you been in line yeah, for? Since 25 to 12. <laughs> I love the commitment, Dan. <laughs> you excited for the show? It's gonna be fun. I think it's gonna be a fun show. I think it's gonna be a fun show. There's a lot of cool stuff here. It looks a lot more spacious. It is very spacious. It looks just like there's a lot of room here. There is. You can really settle in nice. <laughs> yeah. Stand back and take it all in. That more money you can spend, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Let's go. New oh, York one time. Yeah. New York Muskie Expo. <laughs> all right. So the next shot I wanted to get, this was important for me again. I just something about that line when the show opens, like nine o'clock, the rush into all the booths. Okay, I just love that about these shows. I love that initial rush. Like the vendors, you almost hear like feet, like people stomping through the show. It just like the entire atmosphere changes in the room that the show's in. And that was the same in New York. Nine o'clock hit, I took my camera, I got the rush into the door so you guys could see how busy that show was initially. And from there, it was just like mad dash to the Baker booth, mad dash to the True Glide booth, mad dash to you know, all of these booths and just people starting to enjoy the show. I love that shot. It was such a cool shot of that show starting and kicking off. 
Right. Hey guys, just listen. Up. Please be respectful. Don't lock anybody down. No flying elbows. Let's just make it a good time. Trust me, me and Zach and all the vendors here, we appreciate you guys coming so much. Thank you. But he's going to make the announcement. Have at it. Uh, Tennis, I got thank you for coming. It's been a dream to have everyone here. So just know it's appreciated. All right, vendors. Vendors, we have a bunch of people ready to come in, and we're going to start up our first ever New York Muskie Expo. Um, hey, everyone, just walk back in the order that we came in. Um, you know, do it in a nice, civil manner. And I hope everyone here has a wonderful time, but just know my appreciation is genuine for coming here. Guys, get at it. Let's have fun. <laughs> It's nice to see some some familiar face. We got some of your cousins. Sure, of course. Whatever you want. Make it all. Let's do this. Let's do this. So, guys, you know, we're at the show. Things are starting to heat up a little bit. People are getting busy. There's some bodies in there. It's just such a cool, fun thing to be a part of. <laughs> you guys buying bakers again? You know oh, it. oh, every time. I should that. Now guys, another very cool thing that Steve and Zach did for the New York Muskie Expo. They had all of these guys that came out to the show and some of these vendors donate lures for the youth. So every youngster that came through the door actually hit Steve's booth and they gave them free lures. Here's your bag. Here's your bag. You come over here and all these people in here donated baits and we're trying to give them away to you kids because you guys are you're the future of our fisheries. Thanks a lot. Thank Appreciate you. it. Oh. Here's you some walleye jigging baits. Thank you. All right. Here's you some crank baits. Oh, now we didn't put hooks on any. I'm That's sure you right. got hooks. All right. There's you a bait. Let me get you another one. That's what it's all about, boys. All right. You got the bigger one before, so you pick. Okay. Oh. Now just, hey, just be careful with the hooks, okay? Yeah. Hey, thank you guys. Jeez, thanks a lot. Thank you, right? Yeah. Hey, why don't you guys show me what you got? Did you hold a couple of those up. Oh, wow. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool. Are you guys excited to go musky fishing? Yeah. Show me your, show me your expo lower you want. Yeah, you what's want a up? custom expo lower also. Oh, wow. You got the DK. Oh wow, that's a, uh, that's a very, very cool bait right there. Look at that, New York Muskie yeah. That's a very, that's a very awesome bait. You guys excited? Awesome. Awesome, well thanks for coming out. Yep, thank you. Hey, thank you guys. So these guys that donated to these young kids, I just wanna say thank you for being a part of that. That was such a cool thing and just such an awesome part of this show. Steve made sure that these, these young kids walked away with a couple of free baits and it was just such a cool thing to see. All right guys, we're here at the New York Muskie Expo. We got Duff and Supernatural Baits. Hello everybody. So super pumped to be here. Uh, this is like really one of the first times I've seen you at a show aside from maybe Chicago. Sure. So super excited to take a look at your products. Can you maybe just show, tell the people what you brought with you today? I brought uh, what I'm mainly interested in uh, showing everybody is my new A5 headlocks and the mat and the mat locks. The headlocks are a little bit thinner. The mat locks are a little bit thicker and they're eight and a half inches long and they have a uh, the supernatural Wander is built in on every bait, and uh, uh, they're 
wonderful baits, the finishes are great, and uh, they're gonna put a lot of fish in the boat if you guys stop by and say hi. Check them out. You got a lot of great bait makers here. At least give me a chance. That's all I ask. That's awesome. I know. I'm super excited to run your baits this year. Guys have been getting them on them in, in PA, and I know guys that have been fishing them. I'm just like super excited right. to get them in the water. So you won't be disappointed. Right? <laughs> no, I know. I know. I won't be. You got a very big following, so. You know, it's just, it's an awesome thing to be able to talk to you at a show and see these products. And I just bought an eight inch Matlock. And uh, what color is this one, Duff? It's called Carrie's Favorite. It's uh, Carrie Hoppy from Musky Mayhem. That okay. was her favorite color on a jig. She's got a lot of really big fish on that. She said, can we make one of those in, uh, in on one of your baits? I would really love to have one. And, uh, we made it happen. That's so, sweet. It's, Look at that. it's a good pattern. We love it. I'm like super excited about this. And this is the type of stuff right here. Like you guys can come out to these shows. You can talk to somebody like Duff, talk about his products, pick one of these up, and then you get some information. You get to pick his brain, right? Yeah. So what, that's like, what the shows are all about is putting people together and, yeah. and sharing Im Im information. You can't do that really behind a, a computer screen. Uh, that's nah. why these shows are so important. Yeah. We, get, we get to meet the people who use them and people who use them get to meet the people who make them. So yeah, absolutely. Very, very cool. So do you mind do you mind talking about your rule of thumb, matlock versus headlock? Uh, no, not, not at all. I'd like to say there's no rules in musky mm -hmm. fishing, so I guess I can't call it a rule, but it's my guideline is uh, uh, for me personally, this is what I recommend as I have the most success on is if I fish a headlock if the water temp is 60 degrees or less at so the beginning of the year typically in Minnesota I'm in I, we can start the first Saturday in June and I'm in northern Minnesota the water temps aren't quite 60 degrees I've got a headlock out end of the year uh, when water temps are drop end of September so I'm fishing again a headlock till ice up uh, if the water is over 660 degrees, I think my matlock is a more aggressive uh, wander and it has a, a wider wobble to it. Uh, metabolism is higher on a muskie. The water temps warmer. They just eat more, and yep. I think they can chase a more aggressive bait like a mat like a matlock. Is. Okay, and that's why I do it. So headlocks. 660 and under, mat locks, 60 and over, 661 and over. Is what okay, that's a cool little tip. Matlock. Well, it's a uh, tip guideline, not a rule, can't say rule because you can't no say rules in musky fishing, but uh, <laughs> hopefully we got the bases covered there. Simple rule for me, I use it, I live by it, I fish with it, so uh, I'm glad, I'm glad I could share it. So. All right, well, appreciate it, guys. Check these bad boys out. Thanks, Duff. Appreciate it. Come back get some chili. Hey, I know how it happened. You'll go around that eight more times and that'll get steady. They ran that day. Oh, I know. We, we ran it probably. Power couple. And at first, there was a lot of life to that show. It was exciting. I was standing there and I just found myself again just taking it all in. I was taking pictures, taking video clips. I was just smiling ear to ear because again, guys, I genuinely love musky expos. I love these shows. <laughs> Look at this fancy couple. What is that? <laughs> what was that? Hey, yo, yo. <laughs> so really like after that interview with Duff, what I really wanted to do was focus on hitting the booths that I wanted to hit. Okay, you know, again, this is like, it's a fun thing. Like I'm there trying to film and get pictures and put these videos together but I wanna make sure I get opportunities to like stop at booths and just talk to guys and buy products. That's why I'm there. I, you know, again, this is part of like my yearly budget. Like we literally take money and set it aside for me to do these shows. So this year was a little difficult with three shows, um, but I was able to go above and beyond and I was able to take my time on Saturday and just really hit the booths I wanted to. Now, first and foremost, 
I had a couple of things that I really wanted to get done. I wanted to hit the Baker booth. I wanted to get like a four inch Baker because this case isn't like super big and I've got a good bit of baits in there and I can, I want to continue to add to it. So like as much as I would love to get like one of those giant 12 inch baits, like I decided to just do small baits for this. So what I did was I, I wanted to stop at Zach's booth. I wanted him to sign a Baker. I wanted to stop at Steve Gold's booth. I wanted him to sign one of the Trophy Time lures. I really wanted to hit Paul Frasterio's booth and have him sign a four and a half. You know, that was like where it all started for Paul. So I wanted to make sure I got that. There were just a couple of vendors that I wanted to get bait signed for, for my new case. Okay, I had to have it. So that was one of my missions in New York and I was able to accomplish that. So I spent Saturday just kind of walking around, taking the entire show in, buying baits, talking to guide services, hitting seminars to check those out. And it was just such a cool Saturday. I loved every single minute of it. And I am just super excited until show season rolls again next January. So guys, I just want to talk about the seminars really quick. Again, I didn't get time to sit in on all of them, but I did get a little bit of time in each seminar. So first and foremost, Mike Holbert uh, from Holbert's Guide Service, the dude catches giant fish. If you fished with Mike up on St. Clair, you guys know that he just puts monster fish in the bag. That doesn't happen very often. There's way more jump days than there are big days. That is for sure. With musky fishing, you are going to fail a lot. But there's ways to get them to bite on these tough days that I've learned. Um, Mike had a seminar on Saturday and kind of kicked that off. So I'm sure there was a lot of good information there. He talked for a while. It was jam packed. There were a lot of people in there. And again, an opportunity from you for you guys to learn something new about musky fishing and just pick the brain of a professional guide that just bags monster muskies. What a great and what a cool thing that was available for this show. So up second was my man Vance Kalaw's Muddy Creek Fishing Guides. Fat AZ Musky Products. Vance, when he talks, you listen. Vance is one of the best fishermen in the country, particularly on Chautauqua Lake. Unreal, it's got 30 pound test on it and the, the line is probably 30 years old. And I take this big hunkin wooden bait and it was kind of like a suet knock and I just chuck it out. It goes, because the line. He just does awesome seminars. He's written a lot of different articles for Muskie Hunter Magazine, and in this seminar, he shared a good bit of that information with you. For those of you that haven't read those articles, you probably picked up a number of tricks and tips from that seminar. Again, Vance is a good speaker. He's been fishing for muskies a very long time, and that's again, another opportunity for you guys to pick brains on the Chautauqua Lake with one of the premier guide services that fish it. For the New York Muskie Expo, Garmin Electronics was in there talking about live scope. This was just like one of those things that a muskie show has never had. Okay. Maybe I can help you with a few tips along the way. And that takes two. But uh, we'll start out a little. This is just two years ago. Um, and if you uh, see where our booth is right here, on the other side of the wall, you got the extreme muskie lures. That's one of Greg's little mini. You got a full session on live scope. You could ask questions. You could stop over at their booth, which was a wall of electronics and just get a feel for what they offer. Dude, this is special. I don't have a boat. I'm a giant leech. I just leech off of everybody else's boats. I probably have more musky lures than half the guys I know that have boats, but it's still cool for me to go look at that stuff because when I buy a boat, I ultimately have to make that decision. What electronics do I want to go with? So for the guys that have boats, it was money. For the guys thinking about buying boats, money. For the average consumer, it was still money because I am an IT major. I do IT for a living. Electronics is a huge part of my life and I just love this stuff. Love this stuff. So that was a cool thing to have at the New York Muskie Expo. So the third seminar was Garmin Electronics. They covered that. That was just a cool thing to be a part of. Now, lastly, guys, Brian Clark, Captain Chaos, did a seminar on Saturday. One time hold, one window. Um, and feeding windows can last for several hours. If you have the right cloud cover, you know, it's nothing to 
keep fish moving for several hours during the day. We're in the fall months. Fish are real low energy. Fall feed, you know, fall feed bag is just misleading. Brian did an absolutely awesome job when he did the Three Rivers Chapter 16 of Muskie's Inc. seminar. You know, Brian fishes lakes like Pima Tuning. He fishes Chautauqua. He can give you some really good insight. And he always brings really good information. So Saturday, you guys had the opportunity to pick four brains, learn as much as you can about muskie fishing, and just walk away from there a better fisherman. Same deal with Sunday. Sunday, Ken Trill had his seminar. Dude, he talked about the New River, the James River. It was similar to what we saw at Muskie Max, but I have to say, I asked a couple of questions and I felt personally that he got into the nitty gritty details and really gave you even more information on how to catch these fish. I mean, the scenery is spectacular. Uh, it's not, nothing you've probably ever done before. The jet boat around on, and I'll show you a picture of my boat here in a few minutes, but we're running three inches of water and class three rapids and it's intense, you know, it's, it's worth the price of admission for the, for the boat ride, honestly. Uh, I fish a little bit different than most folks down there. I actually run a, a 250 horsepower. We talked about bait selection. I actually went and bought a bait off based on his seminar. You know, this was on my list, but I was kind of waffling after listening to Ken talk just knowing how many good fish he catches a year. You know, these are the types of things you get to ask those questions to, again, professional muskie anglers who are on the water every single day. Guys, it was awesome. Ken did a fantastic job. I loved it. He's one of my favorite speakers. I've said that time and time again. Ken Trill is one of my absolute favorite speakers at these shows, and I thoroughly enjoy that seminar. Now, lastly, Zach Baker, Baker Bates. You know, he's been doing it for a long time. They catch a lot of fish. I remember he actually told a story about Pima Tuning Lake. Um, I was on the water with Charlie that day and Zach and Katia absolutely cleaned up. They know how to troll. They know how to troll Baker Baits and they put a ton of fish in the bag. Katia is like defending women's champion of Muskie's Inc. They know how this stuff works. Zach's on the water. He's making baits. Not only can he teach you how to catch these fish in this like seminar in front of his booth, but he was giving you like really cool tips. Like when I say really cool tips, I mean, he probably thought I was like text messaging people during, but I was actually taking notes. I took notes on my iPhone because now, you know, he talked about some of these patterns and like different things about Chautauqua Lake that like normally you wouldn't get. He talked about it. I wrote it down. I attended that seminar for the most part. I did miss like the back half of it because we had to leave the show by one o'clock. But dude, the first half of that was just him as a fisherman talking to you as a fisherman. It was beautiful. I loved it. I love this stuff. Bang. So guys, all in all, New York Muskie Expo brought it when it came to seminars. That's a huge element to these shows. And again, Zach and Steve lined these guys up. They brought them to Chautauqua for this show and they were there to give you guys good information that will make you a better fisherman. And that's what they did. It was awesome. I loved that about this Musky Expo. Hey guys, my name's Steve Gould with Trophy Time Leaders and Lures. We're here at the New York Musky Expo. It's been a great day. Thanks for all of you stopped by. What we have here is we got a lot of the six inch glides across the top all different colors and patterns we got four inch crankbaits for casting and trolling a lot of different ones if you come straight across we got our, our seven and a half inch wire through baits then we got a few nine inch wire throughs left okay we got a lot of the brake glides on the bottom then we come over to the table and I got every size leader in fluorocarbon that you could ever imagine. They're all custom made, so if I have a link you don't have, I'll make whatever you want. I got all titanium and stainless steel in here. And then I've also got them pre-packaged in 10 packs. And then any of your terminal tackle that you can imagine. You always bring it. You always have so much like yep. cool stuff in your booth. Every I try season. to bring everything and then over here I got all the rubber tails for your glide baits. I've got leader tubes. Oh. 
to help store your leaders in. Those are sweet. Oh, yeah. What are these, Ron? Th those are 30 bucks, and then I got some combos for $80 that are loaded. All right. That's super cool. But if you ever want to grab anything, you can just you can get on my Facebook page right there, send me a message, or you can contact me on my cell phone number up at the oh, top. Look at that. You got yep. I got to get that in there. But guys, I appreciate it. Yeah, Thank man. You, Ryan. Hey, hey, nice job with the show so far. It's yeah, been, uh, it's been a fun show. We've been very pleased with the turnout. A lot of locals here is excited about bringing the show to this area. And the vendors seem happy. Everybody's smiling. And I haven't told one fishing lie yet. <laughs> so, <laughs> All right. Thanks, All right, Steve. Thanks a lot. I just want to talk about something really quick that's just like super cool to me. Again, because I'm a nerd and I love these shows. Okay, I asked Steve about these media passes. And Steve actually gave me one of the tickets for the show to kind of lanyard around and just wear it so I felt a little bit more comfortable walking around with a camera. I just, I don't want to be the weird creepy dude that's always walking around jamming my camera in faces without, without at least having some kind of thing around my neck to make it look like I'm like media. I don't know. I just get weird. I think that's a really cool thing. But Steve gave me a ticket for the show and I just, this is like for me to wear around my neck as a media pass. And guys, I just... I don't know why I do this, but so here's the here's the ticket stub for the show. Okay, and if you guys can see on this, it actually says ticket 001. And I actually feel bad because I probably should have given this to Zach. So Zach, if you watch this video, I will gladly trade you. Um, but you guys have to sign it for me because I absolutely made Steve and Zach sign this ticket stub. This is the first ever Muskie show that they put on. I just have a feeling that this show is going to be around for a very long time. And I wanted to just keep this piece of history. And this was like my lanyard that I wore around the show as my media pass. So that was just like a cool little thing that I wanted to incorporate into this video. This is the kind of stuff that I do that ends up in that case. And it's going to end up with like the trophy time lures and the two baker baits that I got, it's gonna end up right there with those in that case and it's gonna be in there until I die and I turn into dust and everybody that I know comes and pillages my musky lures. All right guys, New York Musky Expo. We're here in the Extreme Musky Lures booth and I'm here with Greg. So how you doing today? Hey, good, how you doing, Ryan? Good, good, so how's the show been? Been really good, uh, pretty steady, uh, selling a lot of baits. Good. Uh, got some new customers, some old customers showing up, so it's been very good. Uh, first time show, obviously here, so um, didn't know what to expect, but so far so good. Awesome, that's awesome. So what, uh, I know I just picked up a couple of the minis. Yep. So uh, talk to me about your bait lineup just a little so, bit. So, um, you know, we've got, Everything that I do, um, I do myself. So they're all CNC cut. This is the mini. This is a, a very small three inch bait, but don't let that uh, bother you. It's caught everything from 49 and three quarter inch muskies uh, to lake trout, to pike, to musky walleye, crappie, catfish, you name it. Um, very good casting, very good trolling. All my baits are three wire constructed. Oh, wow. um, okay. They've got two coats of epoxy with a UV inhibitor in it, a rattle, um, strong hooks. Almost all my baits have 4X strong hooks, um, but everything's done by me. So if there's a problem with it, it's my fault. So, um, you know, come to me and I'll get it fixed. We know so, who to call. Exactly, right. <laughs> um, and then you move over into the walking shad line. Uh, the three inch walking shad's been out for a year. Um, kind of like that panfish style bait, but it's got a wander to it when, when cast okay. or controlled. The four inch walking shad has been out for a few years and this actually got three fish 50 inches or bigger in 2020 in Ohio, which is very, very cool. So um, they've been super duper popular. That's a rare fish for Ohio. Right? It, 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 very much. Um, and actually I got another bait here in a second. I'll tell you, I got one in f over 50 in Ohio on it as well. So I had a, it was a great year in 2020, when, uh, you know. That's awesome. So, and then you move to the six inch walking shad, um, a little bit bigger bait. A um, little bit more wander, uh, and then I've got a few of the eight-inch uh, walking shads, and those have caught fish up to 54 inches on Green Bay. Uh, some really, really massive fish. Uh, a lot of wander to those baits. Okay, cool. All right, and then I've got my mega shads. They're an eight-inch bait, uh, deep diver, harder thumping bait. 
Uh, I don't have these out every year, so I made a few for this show, uh, but they've caught some really big fish as well, you know, upper 40s, uh, close to the 50 inch more. Wow. Yeah, those are sweet. Those are, uh, yeah. Look at that. That's like, what is that? That's like that a... That is a lime goldie. <laughs> And as you can see, most of them are one-offs. Yeah, that's um, cool though. So, and usually I do that for my bigger baits and then my glide baits. I do more one-offs than okay. standard colors. Very um, cool. Moving over to the LTs, these have been a great bait for many years. Uh, tighter wiggle. Um, they do have a little bit of a kick to them, but not so much a wandering bait. Okay. But these have been great casting baits over, you know, emerging weeds in the spring to trolling on Lake St. Clair. Um, just, you know, you can get those down to about 15 feet. The TS model is a little bit bigger version kind of of that LT. It's got a bigger square lip on it, um, oh, okay. wider wobble. Uh, runs down to 15, 16 feet. This one got an over 50 at Chautauqua in uh, 2020. So, oh, okay. and these I didn't make every year because I wasn't getting feedback on them. Okay. And then I started saying, oh, I got a 48. Somebody got a 51. I got a 49. It's like, oh, okay, I better make a few. So I went back <laughs> to making them. Um, this new one is a Mini XL. All it's right. a bigger version of the Mini with a round lip. Okay. And it's got a little bit of wander to it. I think this is going to be a great bait. Um, you know, it's only been out really for this show uh, and the two previous, you know, the, the Pittsburgh Musky Max and then the Ohio show. And then what I do, uh, I do a six and an eight inch glider. Um, the six inch is about three ounces, very slow sink, really good hang time, short twitches are easy to work. I get a lot of feedback that says, hey, these are great, easy to work baits. And the eight inch ones are about six ounces heavier. Okay. You can work them a little bit faster. So that's kind of the lineup uh, that I've got. Um, you know, this is my last show for the year. So I'll probably put some of these up uh, online afterwards. Okay. Um, and then some of the clubs will get some as well. All right, so if somebody wants to get an extreme muscular, what's the best way to get a hold best of it? Best day right now is to contact me on Facebook. Okay. Um, my website has been shut down as of the end of March. I have to stop taking orders from the okay. website. So uh, hopefully going to be fishing more. So, there you go. Yeah. It's the, hey, it's time to fish. <laughs> yeah, right? this is my third show. So, you know, it's, yeah, I'm ready to fish. Yeah, I understand so, that. But it's been great seeing everybody wow. finally back to shows this year. And, yep. Um, it's been great. Very cool. Well, you guys need to check out the one and only Extreme Musky Lures and Greg here. So yep. appreciate your time. Yep. Thank you very much. Thanks, appreciate Ryan, it. man. Appreciate it. Take yep. care. See you. Two other previous days at East, and two other ones we never had. A... Hey! Hey, Dave, yeah. Hey, awesome. Muskie Association here. What do you got there? Just a small little spinner bait. Small little, little spinner. springtime bait. Yeah. Well, small see. baits in the spring. Small baits in the spring, <laughs> get it done. Right. Small fish. Owen, explain it. So Owen, what are you doing with this hog pump? This hog pump? I, like, I don't know what we're gonna, I don't even know what we're calling it. <laughs> All I know is that it is, it actually looks like it would work. <laughs> Surprisingly enough. And I bet if someone's crazy enough to throw this thing in the fall uh, on big water, we'll get I don't it know. Done. So what do you have here? A little, little That's attachment? That's just a two ounce, it's a two ounce egg weight, and then a 10 blade and a 13 blade. That's what on I'll top be of a pound. That's what I'll be throwing Hunks Weekend at Cannon Dota. Pike belt champion. <laughs> so yeah, now we can we can we can we can make anything you want like this. That's cool. That is very cool. Stuff. All right, guys, New York Musky Expo. We're in front of the Musky Bumper booth, and I've got Jeremy with us. Jeremy, how you doing? Good, 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 good. So, uh, how's the show going for you? Pretty good, pretty good. New new show, so you know not as not as busy as established shows, but nice right. crowd. All right, good. So. Uh, you know, I always, I always kind of like take pictures of your booth and uh -huh. shows like Ohio, PA and stuff. And I, I got my first board last year. So right. it's uh, just like one of those things like progressional musky fisherman type deals. Like you kind of get away from the tape and get into an actual bump board. It's nice. Right. So I just, you know, I just want to kind of stop and for like people that may not know, a lot of new musky fishermen, yep. you know, watch my channel and stuff. You know, what do you guys typically bring to the show? What do you got, uh, you know, to offer as far as okay, the bumpers sure. go? You know, we're pretty simple. Yeah. For musky, we've got three different items. Fat Boy, which is a 10-inch wide model. 
this is a right-handed configuration. So if you come out of the net, fish in your right hand, you want a right-handed board. Okay. We yeah. make them in right or left, all of our models. Uh, this one's 10 inches wide, 60 inches long. They fold at 30 okay. for easy storage. Next step back is our standard Busky bumper. That's an eight inch wide model. Still 60 inches, just a little narrower, $10 lower price okay. point. And then our bump and go, which is ambidextrous because it doesn't have a back on it, but a little nicer price point. Okay. It's a $50 item, but still folds. They're made of PVC, so they float. Our hinge is made of the same material. There's no metal touching the fish, nothing that's gonna harm the scales of the fish. Okay. All right, that's very cool. So, you know, it's funny because I was I was joking earlier. It's like I catch a lot of like 30 inch fish, mm -hmm. and I've got the I've got the uh, fat boy bumpers. Like I thought about bumping down to like the walleye series. Yeah, well, just we got for, those too. For so. the creek, so yeah. those are those are pretty cool yep. as well. So these go up to what 36, 36 inches. inches and that's they perfect. fold at 18. We call that bumping subs. There you go. <laughs> so, you know, 32 inch fish. I mean, that's that's perfect for a lot of the different species too. Yeah. All right, cool. So you guys got some uh, some sweatshirts and yeah, stuff got, down there. Got hoodies. We, we try to do a different one every year. So very cool stuff. Yeah. So awesome. So uh, you know, guys are out out at these shows. You can come stop. And you can get a uh, a musky bumper. Yeah, come see so, us. Very cool. So right. Jeremy, thank, thank you very, very much. much. Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys. New York Musky Expo. We're in front of the Waxors booth. We got Matt here. Hey guys. Matt, how you doing today? Doing great. Uh, we make these lures, they're handmade out of cedar in West Virginia. West Virginia. These are five inch little guy crankbaits. This is the deluxe model. It's one inch wide, five inches long. My baits are all uh, five coats of epoxy. They're sealed, uh, handmade, painted, everything by me and only me. I have layered paint jobs for a 3D effect. Very cool. And I also have four inch models. This I I That's a sweet part. This is a walleye. Try to get it on camera, and if you can see a little bit of 3D effect there. Yeah. But all these baits are handmade by me. Uh, I only make what you see here once a year. I usually only do one, one or two shows a year, and. Uh, that's it, that's Wax Lures. What, so what uh, shows are you typically doing? I uh, usually just try to pick one of the big ones every year. Like this year, of course, I only chose this one. Okay. Uh, maybe next year we'll venture out to the Midwest or uh, possibly Ohio. Um, just see how it goes. It's a right. hobby for me, you know. I'm not a full-time bait maker, I'm just a part-time bait maker. All right, so. that's very cool stuff, man. Well, thanks for coming out to New York and yeah. displaying your baits. All right. So if uh, somebody wants to get a hold of you, what's the best way? Uh, best way to get a hold of me is on Facebook. I don't have a uh, Facebook page for my baits. So you can look me up on Facebook, just type in Wax. I'll be the curly-haired guy wearing a hat or holding a fish. Or you can look at Wax Lures on Instagram. All right, very cool, man. Thank you very much. I All right, guys, New York Muskie Expo. We're here in front of the Grim Reaper Lures booth. I've got Keith here with me. Keith, how you yep. doing? I'm doing awesome. How are you? I'm doing good, man. I'm enjoying the show. Every show I enjoy, it's fun. It's been a good show. A, good. Lot, of, a lot of good turnout. Good. It's working out pretty well so far. Good, cool. So I, I usually try to stop and talk hey to guys, Kevin about Moore. these shows and I, you know about what you guys have going on in your booth. Uh, you're mm -hmm. a huge fan of the spinner baits. And, uh, you know, I just kind of wanted to like pop in and see what you guys had going on for the show and then kind of talk about your products a little bit and how to get a hold of you after the show. Yeah. Well, as you know, a spinnerbait's the most versatile lure you can have in the water. And whenever I'm fishing, I, if I'm fishing alone, I've got a spinnerbait. If I've got multiple people, I make sure we always have at least one spinnerbait in. But Grim Reaper's got lots to offer. We got 42 different colors. We got different blade combinations. We got four different weights starting at a half ounce for bass and smallies going all the way up to the two ounce triple threats for pike and muskie. And don't be afraid to upsize for your bass fishermen. Go up to a half ounce, one ounce. Okay. I, I got a seven pound smallie on the St. Lawrence a couple years ago fishing for pike and muskie on an ounce and a half. So that's, we, that's a we got a lot to offer and because we hand make all our lures, if there's ever a color combination, like I said, we got 42 different colors. If there's ever a color combination or blade combination you want, because we hand make everything, we can custom make anything you want. Okay. Two different colors on blades and stuff. That's very cool. From our bucktails all the way to our spinner baits. And that's what the, I've talked to Kevin about this in the past. like. It's already a versatile bait. Like you can use it so many ways, but now you guys can custom it, you know, customize so many different aspects of the bait. 
Absolutely. It's just a very cool thing, like as a yeah. fisherman, because we all like things a little different. We yep. all like different colors and and combos and things like that. So yeah. very cool stuff. So why don't you uh, let's let's walk through the bait lineup real quick. Yeah. So what do you got going on? Over so here? We, we at this show we started with our one ounce, and we've got different combinations from a double Colorado. We got a tandem, which is Colorado Willow, and then we have triple willows, double willows, and we have that going up into the one ounce, the ounce and a half, and then up to a couple of the two ounce. Actually, we may not have two ounce here with us. Okay, that's a. I mean, I like this. The white. Yeah, white's a tried and true color. All right, cool. Can what never you... go wrong with that one. So what else you got going on over here? Because these look like bucktails. These are our bucktails. We've got inline bucktails. We've got the scissor pin style. We got the top water. Ooh. And all our bucktails are hand tied by Sarah, who's uh, Kevin's daughter. Okay. Everything is handmade in in house. All right, that's very cool. So it's a, uh, you know, I always have like a. It's always nice to see the family run business. Yeah. It's getting the family involved, and you know, Grim Reaper I know is a family run business. Kevin does, yeah. and it's just like, you know, it's just a cool thing. It is. You know, it's just, it's a cool thing for the whole family to be a part of. Yeah. And so. Kevin and I have been fishing for, or fishing Grim Reaper lures for 20 years. He yeah. bought the company about five years ago and mm -hmm. he was in interested because it's just such a good producer. Yeah, yeah, that's so. awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So, you know, we're we're here on Saturday. I don't even know what day it is. Today is Saturday. Today is Saturday. We're here on Saturday. We got another half day, you know, a little couple hours left today, half day tomorrow or so. If somebody wants to reach out and get some baits, what's the best way to do that? Come right down to the show if you're in the area. Uh, we got some show prices that'll save you a couple of bucks. If not, GrimReaperLures.com. You can get a hold of us, put in your order, and like I said, if there's something outside of the 42 colors, standard colors that we offer, we'll custom make anything for you. All right, very cool. Well, Keith, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate My you pleasure. walking us through that. It's uh, cool, you guys need to check out Grim Reaper. Oh yeah, Grim Reaper oh. Lures. Grim Reaper lures, and we also have apparel, sweatshirts, hats, oh, t-shirts. Right very cool stuff. Awesome. All right, man. Thank you very much, Pete. You're welcome. It. All right. So between Saturday and Sunday, guys, I had an absolute blast. All right, guys. We're at the New York Muskie Expo, in front of the Lapper Lures booth. I got Terry with me here. Hi. So how you doing, Terry? I'm doing good. Good. How's uh, how's the show been? So excellent. All right, We're pretty good. busy. Selling a lot of lures for not being in this area. That's good. Uh, different type of fishing here than in Michigan. Yeah, a little bit. So we're doing all right. All right, cool. So what? Tell, tell me, like, tell me what uh, what is a lap or lure? What do you guys got so going on here? The, the name of the body baits we have is TDL. Okay. They're act, it's actually my initials. All right. So we have them in five inch, six inch, and eight inch. Okay. We have a few jointed in eight inch. Right. The um, construction of them is a uh, through wire construction. Okay. They're made in two halves. They're CNC'd out of PVC uh, plastic. Okay. And then they're primed and painted and sealed. All right. So what what do we got here then? So we got. Let me start on this side. You got the five inch, six inch, eight inch, and ten inch, right? Yeah. Yep. So these are the fives. And you said these are all through wire. They all through wire. Okay, and you got the six inches here. They're used for trolling and casting. Okay, so trolling and casting. That's yeah. cool. A little bigger profile on the eights. Yep, the ten. So, what the? Okay, so you got the eights here. That's a ten. Those are tens. Those are ten. Okay. And then these are the oh, these are the eights here. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I see. So these are the eights, and then the top row is the tens. Yep. All right, cool. Then we have a few jointed um, of the eights. We're making jointed of the sixes, 
10 weeks. All right, cool. So when did you guys start making, how long have you been making lures for? Um, 1983. So, wow. Oh, wow. I made a, a bait called the Gotcha for a lot of years. Okay. It was a cedar bait and had, had screw eyes in it. And the more fish you caught, the more it wore out. So yeah. I elected to go to through water. Okay. All right, that's cool. So you've been at this for a very long time. Then. Yeah. So you're, again, like St. Clair? Lake St. Clair. Lake St. Clair. Yeah, our main body of water that we fish. Okay. So you're out there fishing, and uh, yeah. what's the what would you say the biggest fish caught on a lapper was? Um, just under 40 pounds. Okay. 55 and a half inches. That's so a big fish. It's a big fish. Yeah. It's a big fish. We catch a lot of fish. Uh, the the uh, TDLs won five tournaments last year. Oh wow. Okay. I and then the. Uh, the lapper tails that we're going to talk about, they, they've won several tournaments over the last 10 years. Okay. So, well, well, so what are these? These are just by... So them are uh, three skirt bodies. Okay. I just want to explain what, what uh, our thing is with the uh, Flasher boot. Okay. The, the blade is detachable by a split ring here, so you can run different color blades with a, a different body of oh, flasher boot. And, and it's a flex wire design. Okay. And the six aught treble on the end, and then there's a double hook here. Alright, so you basically you basically build these so they're customizable and you can customize the skirt yes to and the blades as well then yep. we so so for example all the blades are hanging here right okay. I see. so um, when we start out fishing we'll, we'll run what we call Hulk Hogan the yellow okay and we'll run a gold blade with it both plate set if nothing bites on that we we'll use an orange blade set go to black or silver and if that doesn't work I change the skirt color okay and I start over with that combination of blades gotcha. so these are really built for fishermen to be able to customize on the water yes and just adjust easily yes that's pretty sweet I don't know many guys doing that no there's there's a couple but yeah not too many they, you know they have interchangeable blades but they don't have the flex wire so we have these in three skirts, and what I mean by three skirts is there's three different sections of flash in Okay. You can see the, the cool. ties. That are there. And then we have uh, like two skirts, flash boom, and then on the side we have one skirt. Okay, I see. And these are one skirt, so they're all smaller. I gotcha, I see. All right, that's very cool. So that's, that's very cool stuff. Yep. And then what we have instead of the number 10 uh, blades that we use on a lot of the big ones, we have number 8 blades. Okay. So it's replaceable. And then we'll use the willow leaf blade on the smaller ones. Okay. So you can interchange those. That's, uh, that's really cool stuff. And then <laughs> the final product we have is the hair tails. And then here's some uh, flashaboo type tails with a single blade. Very cool. Very cool. So thanks for talking to me. Yeah, that's really Appreciate awesome. It. Thanks, Terry. Appreciate Lapper you. Lures out of Michigan. There you go, Lapper Lures out of Michigan. Thank you very much. We'll do it that way. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. New York Muskie Expo. We're here with Mark Smith in front of the Smotley Dog Baits booth. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing great, man. Good, good to meet you. Good to meet you too. How, how's the show been for you? Oh, the show's pretty good. Uh, I'd like to see some more people out, but it's yeah. been pretty good. People have been here, been spending money. Good show. Good. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, it seemed like uh, a little bit slower this afternoon. Hopefully. A little bit. It was. It was good this morning. I was pretty busy. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. So. I always see your booth at the shows. I never really stop in and talk to you, so this is, uh, this is a good chance for me to get to get to meet you in person. Yeah. And 
that's kind of what some of these shows are about and stuff. So one thing is, um, I wanted to ask you about your baits too. Like, can we kind of walk through your bait lineup real quick? Oh, sure. All right. So what type of baits? What do you got going on with Smelly well, Dog? If you, I, I start out small and go large. So if you look okay. right here, these are uh, these are four inch gliders. They're, they're very easy to work. Five inch gliders, six inch gliders. All of them sink at about a foot, one foot per second. Uh, they're all made from uh, either eastern or western red cedar, depending on how I can get supplied. Okay. Um, here we we got some balsa baits here. Now occasionally I'll do some baits where these are actually Jack Cobb who, who died in 2014. These are Jack Cobb baits that I painted. Okay. Uh, now from there up, these are these are seven inch uh, jointed crank baits. Again, made from western cedar, all all uh, wire through. The ones up on top here are 12 inch trollers. Uh, all, again, all western red cedar. Fantastic baits, very, very wire through, very, very, very solid. Uh, here we got uh, six inch trollers, or cat. You can cast these two. Okay. And here, these these two rows are five inch trollers, uh, wire through. Uh, the top row, this one, this one's in the wrong spot. These are four inch trollers. Uh, and then uh, this one right here, these are these are very good early season baits. They're uh, five inch minnows. Uh, you throw these baits, you work them like you would a jerk bait, normal jerk bait. They're fantastic for early season because you get uh, you, you, you're not eliminating small mouth, large mouth you on a cloudy day, even a good wall. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. Cool. Multi species. Uh, the ones right above these are seven inch baits, and uh, that this is actually seven inches are my. I sell more of those than I do any any other size bait. Uh, there's been you know quite a few good fish caught on those. Uh, the next one up is uh, uh, eight inch gliders. I make these in, in, I make them with screws. The gliders, I make them with screws and I also make them with, uh, with, with wire through. Okay. So it's, 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 it's tougher to do with the wire through, but it's, it's, it's a solid bait. Never had a, a, a screw pull out on a bait, but there, there are some folks that just prefer the certainty of wire. Okay, so I do both. Uh, now, beyond that, these are uh, six inch, these are these, these are a Jack Cobb influenced six inch round nose uh, gliders. These do sink and they work very easily. Now these two rows are actually are these are Jack Cobb baits that I bought from from his son-in-law, and uh, all I did was paint them. So they're actually these, these are Cobb baits. The the lower section are the ones I made, and uh, work very well. Too. The uh, this section here is diving rise based. I just started making them. I've been selling the crap out of these. Uh, but you can work them just under the water, uh, like a side to side glide bait, but then you can you can jerk the crap out of them and they'll do crazy things. You just go in every direction. Very erratic. That's very and, uh, cool. I make them in six, seven, and uh, uh, eight, seven, and six inch sizes. Uh, so that, that, that's pretty much my whole gambit of baits. Now there's that's some I make that I don't have here. I, I don't know how many models I've made over the years, probably 20. And, okay. and that's too many to have in one, all together in one show. It's tough. Yeah, but, yeah uh, for sure. Uh, the one that I'm missing here, I, I, I haven't been able to make, is there's an eight, I make an eight inch uh, trawler that I don't have here that I, that I got asked about I don't know 10 times to it. oh wow I wish I'd have had them I'd have sold a lot of them but yeah. anyway it happens uh, yeah it's, uh, I, that pretty much covers it man alright awesome you've been doing this for a long time oh I've been How doing it probably 25, 25 years, years. I, I, I guess I'm retired now I used to work at a chemical plant okay I gave that up 
Yeah, uh, I, I'm almost 64, so it's it's time to go. I, 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 I let a younger guy take my job, and I, I went home. Yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. So this is cool. I mean, you've been doing this. Guys have obviously been cooking big giant fish. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I've sold them in at, at I don't know 20 different countries. It, it's crazy. That's awesome. It's cool at the same time. Crazy but cool. Yeah, I mean, this is like. I mean, this is exciting for me because, like, I don't get to spend, you know, I come to the certain booths and things like that, and I always see your stuff. I always take pictures. Oh, yeah. You know, but okay. I never get a chance. I never got a chance to talk to you. So okay. I appreciate you doing this. Oh, yeah, no problem. Nah, I'm glad to do it. Taking the time to kind of talk muskies with me and showing me the Smalley Dog stuff. Yeah. So, well, I appreciate it, man. Yeah, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much, Mark. Okay. Uh, yeah, hopefully the rest of the show goes well. I hope so. All right. Thank you. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. We're here at the New York Muskie Expo. We're at the BNN Custom Tackle Booth. We've got Nick. We've got Bob. How are you guys doing today? Doing good. Doing well. Good. Good. So uh, we had you guys on the Muskie Hunks podcast. It was a super fun episode we did. So how are you guys doing at the show here? We're doing fine. Good. Doing fine. Good. So um, this is a new show, so it's kind of an interesting thing. But uh, you've got a giant booth here, so I just wanted to kind of talk about, you know, BNN and and uh, what kind of products you guys brought. And uh, since the show's kind of winding down here, you know, best ways to get a hold of you. So uh, what did you guys? Uh, what do you got? What do you got going on here at the BNN booth? Okay, we brought almost all of our different styles of lures, uh, seven inch straight jointed splicers, eight inch straight jointed splicers, and a 10 inch, um, all sizes of our deep threats, uh, five inch, four inch, four and a half inch minnow, as far as the shad line, mag shads. Um, what else did we bring? All of our claws that we have been pushing at the shows this year. And we also, found a couple boxes of our old spinner baits that uh, there we you go. collected to bring this year. So we've got them here plus all of our apparel. All right, awesome. So uh, let's just take a little walk around here. So what do you got here? You guys start with the seven Those inch are slasher? seven inch slashers. Uh, okay. Top two rows mostly are straights and a few jointed. The next row is jointed. Bottom row is the 10 inch slashers. Very cool. And, um, we also have our grubby slicers. Okay, like the grubbies with the tail. And eight inch stubbies, the straight sand jointed. Well, that's a sweet color, I like that. Very cool. These are just the jointed uh, stubbies? Jointed stubbies, yes. All right, cool. And you got, man, you guys have so much real estate here. <laughs> yeah. Then over here we have the top row, we have our six and three quarter inch little claw twitch into the six and three quarter little claw crank and then our 15 inch dragon claw around the corner there. Oh boy. Very cool. Then next row down we have our nine and a half inch mag claw. Those two rows. And then the next panel here we have our 11 inch super mag ball. Very cool. And these are these are good size baits. I love that profile. That is really cool. Alright, cool. So we got the deep threats here then, right? Yep. These are the these are the ones that you guys when you talked about on the podcast, this one kind of got me really fired up because I'm looking at some bigger baits this year. Sure. So the top row here is the 8 inch deep threads and this is, a so this is one that we actually designed on our own. Um, we had several guys asking for a smaller version of the 10 inch so we came out with the 8s. Okay. And you got, what's this, a 12 inch right here? Very first wow, dude, that is sweet. <laughs> so these are 12 inches here. These are 12 inch real deep threads. Um, we did something a little different with some of the 12s and a few of the 10s. Um, we had a limited number of them in uh, Minnesota at the show, and this will be the second show, but they've actually got a rattle in them. Oh, wow. 
see that's uh we can hear that a lot better here than on the podcast like yep. that is uh that is a very loud rattle yep. so all right cool so what we got uh 10 inch deep threads on these are the aluminum lip. Aluminum lip 10 inch deep threads. Oh, wow, look at that. Very cool. And with those, mm. some of them have rattles, some without. Okay, so you guys do a little combo action. Yeah. Very cool. And those are all through wire constructed. And then our shad baits, the next, those are also through wire constructed. The top three rows here are four inch rip and shad. These, um, do you guys, I mean, you obviously troll these, but do you guys, you guys got a lot of guys casting these at all? Yeah. Yes. I was going to say, these are like, you, you say they get casted more or trolled more? Casted. Really? Okay. That's, yeah, I, I don't, I don't throw enough crankbaits. Like, a, I just feel like this is, that's just like a sweet profile for spring too. Yeah. Then at the bottom here, we have our four and a half inch ripping minnow. Just a little bit different profile. The dive curves are approximately the same. Casting and trolling is the four inch ripping shad. Okay, cool. Very cool stuff. I see some glitter over here. These are the, uh, what are these? these those are, are the, the five inch fat shad. Okay. And the top row, those are glitter based ones that we've made, and then the rest of them the regular ones that we have. All right, very cool. I think overall we have close to 40 colors here. 40 patterns? I think we have close to 40, yeah. yeah. Wow, yeah, that's a lot going on. I mean, you guys have a lot of baits, a lot of different patterns. There's a lot, a lot of stuff here. So what? talk to me about these spinner baits a little bit. These are... So so those are our triple shad spinner baits. Uh, they've got a triple willow blade on them. That's an ounce and a half head, but the overall weight of the bait is approximately two and a half ounces. Okay, two and a half ounce bait. That's good, good casting weight. That is a that is a sweet bait. There. Very cool. And uh, with these little mini guys, so these little just little mini bucktails on. Yeah, this is one of the lures that we started out with um, several years ago buying and playing around with. And just happened this year to have a box of them that we had set aside after the last show we did, which was three years ago, I guess. In 20. In 20. And um, doing some rearranging and sorting, getting ready for this show. And it was like, oh, look, here's a box of little bucktails so uh, we brought them along <laughs> very cool <clears throat> you know what else is cool about this too is like for this being a new show i mean you never know who's going to walk through the door right and sometimes you get guys that are just curious you know they'd be attracted to something like that a little smaller yep. profile right. that's yep. pretty cool stuff so yep. got all kinds of t-shirts and stuff yep so you guys brought the whole the whole truck load yep so uh well cool well hopefully you guys had a good show here in new york and uh, we certainly appreciate you guys coming out, you know, from a consumer standpoint. It's very cool to have you guys here and, you know, looking forward to seeing what else you guys are going to be doing. Okay. So thank you guys very much for your time. Do your best for something. Yep. yep. Thanks. Now, lastly, the one of the things that I always like to do in these Muskie Expo videos is give you guys an idea of what I bought. Okay. I went a little crazy at the New York Muskie Expo. And part of that was like, I, I went way over budget. But again, like part of that was because I was having so many awesome discussions. Like I bought lures that weren't on my list because the guys that make them, they were talking to me as a fisherman. And it was just like one of those things, like I really enjoyed those conversations I have with guys that I've either never talked to or always wanted to talk to. And then I've had scenarios where like, I just couldn't get enough courage to go up to the booth to talk to them. So before we talk about that a little bit more, I want to share with you guys my purchases from the 2022 New York Muskie Expo. All right, so this is a huge deal for me, okay? I wanted, again, I mentioned this earlier in the video, I wanted to make sure that I got Steve Gold and Zach Baker to sign a bait for me for this bait case, okay? It was important to me. I've, I, I really like got into musky fishing, like wanting 
Baker Bates. You know, Zach's been an influence on me. And Steve is just like one of the best leader makers. And dude, Steve is just genuinely one of like the nicest human beings ever. You know, I've done interviews with these guys. I remember like my first Muskie Max that I wasn't a part of. Like Dan was like, you should do an interview with Zach. We should get it. I just like went up and he was like, Zach, would you do an interview with Ryan? And dude, he was so gracious and humble. And we did that interview and it absolutely just made my show season that year. And that was back in like 2019. You know, and honestly, like if it wasn't for that moment with Zach, I might not have like pushed myself to do more interviews. So, you know, like, again, that's why I wanted to do this. It was the influence from, from Steve and really from Zach Baker that kind of got me started. I wanted to make sure I bought their baits or got their baits and had them sign it. So, you know, bottom line, you know, those two guys, it just meant a lot for me to be able to do this. So uh, Steve hooked me up with this bait here. You guys can see that Steve signed it for me. And on the top of this bait, this is a trophy time leaders in lure bait that Steve makes. It says New York Muskie Expo. Okay, so that's a sweet shad pattern. Um, this guy's going in my case. Um, he also hooked me up with this little guy here. I wanted this one. I'm gonna fish this guy. Um, that's a little shad bait that he makes. He even put my name on there. Uh, I'm gonna run this thing on Saturday. I'm super excited about it. I love this pattern. Um, that's just a cool bait. Now for Zach, like again, I wanted him to sign a bait. So I went and again, my case isn't that big. So like I wanted a smaller bait. So I got the four inch in black perch, by the way, you guys know black perch is like one of my favorite all time patterns. So I saw this and like, it just, it just made sense. You know, it was one of those things to me, like black perch being my favorite musky lure color, you know, in the four inch baker, Zach signed it for me. So he wrote me a little note there and uh, see that he signed the bottom of it. So this is a four inch Baker black perch that's going in my case. Absolutely love that I can do that and just put a little piece of history away from myself until basically I'm not here anymore. So a couple other things, I wanna talk about some of the baits I'm gonna be putting away. Um, again, Steve hooked me up with this. I had the chance to get this. Uh, this is a five inch Baker and it says New York Musky Expo right there. And if you guys have seen this pattern before, this is the Chautauqua Lake Redwood Ranch pattern. Five inch Baker. This guy, um, again, this is going with my lanyard. I'm gonna put this baby away and that's gonna sit in my new glass bait case until I pass away. So next up really quick, uh, Paul Frustario, Boss Shad. There's Paul's signature on a four and a half inch Boss Shad. Uh, had to have it. You know, this is one of those things I just absolutely had to have in my case. Um, so, you know, the other cool thing that they did at the New York Muskie Expo was this lure swap. So on Saturday night, they actually did a lure swap at the hotel. You could bring tons of baits out, you could bring gear out, and you could wheel and deal and trade. <laughs> Don't judge me. <laughs> now, Todd Young from Muddy Creek Fishing Guides actually had some baits for that swap, and I was I was able to get at least one of them. You guys know I've been stacking Wileys. So when I saw this, again, had to have it. So, right there. That's a Wiley Kowalski. I think that's Michigan Perch. There's the sticker. Wiley Kowalski. That's one of Dale's big boys. Uh, this one's going in my case and, and never leaving it. That's a sweet bait by a premier, one of the best musky lure builders of all time from right here in the state of Pennsylvania. And then Tony Grant, like Tony had a couple of lures with him and Charlie and I scoped these, like actually Charlie scoped these and was like, I'm buying those. And I'm like, I'm getting one of them at least. So we worked out a deal and look at these little tiny baby Wileys. Look at this little guy. He's tiny, tiny straight Wiley. Uh, yeah, that's going in the collection. Uh, absolutely going in the collection, never leaving that case. So I also picked up some Trophy Time leaders. 
Um, I like the 80, uh, the 36, the 36 inch 80 pound. You can see that. So Steve makes premier leaders right there. I had to get some of those. And as far as baits that I want to fish this year, you know, big selection of baits. Um, again, the New York Muskie Expo was an opportunity to get some baits that are hard to get. I failed miserably. I didn't get a chance at a DK. I was too busy filming and running around taking pictures. It kind of sucked because I wanted to get one. By the time I made it back, you know, there was one bait left and I think Owen ended up buying it. Um, so I just missed out on the DK for the second show in a row. Kind of bummed about it, but there'll be other opportunities. You know, life's not over. Um, but what I did take advantage of was my man, Evan Shaw, Shaw's Bait Company, was there with some Shaw's Baits. This show, for me, was about two baits, even though I ended up with four. I ended up with his minor and that perch pattern. Plan on running that on Chautauqua? Absolutely. And I, I saw this post. I couldn't not have it. This is that purple trout he posted in the minor. This is such an awesome freaking bait. I cannot wait to fish this thing. Look at that. Look at the glitter. Look at that. That is such a sweet pattern. I love it. And then I also went with a meat pie. I needed like a perch pattern, so I went with this one. And of course I went with the brown perch meatball. Okay, second to none. This color is just phenomenal on Chautauqua. It's phenomenal on our lakes. That meatball is gonna get crushed. Um, I had a chance to talk to Duff again from Supernatural. Uh, I had to pick up at least two baits from him. I needed one with a yellow belly. You guys know me in yellow bellies. Um, I went with this like bluegill pattern and this is a matlock in the 8.5. So there's the 8.5 and there she is. Look at the, look at that. Just look at that thing. That is sweet. And then Carrie's fave. Um, I saw this online. I've been pining over it for months and I just did not have the cojones to buy it. Talked to Duff and I looked at the table. There was an 8.5 there and I had to have it. So I went with the 8.5, the matlock. Um, big difference between the matlock and the headlock. Uh, I'm really looking forward to running that bait. Really cool pickups for me. Big baits this season, so I'm going to try it. A um, couple other things I want to talk about. Greg over at Extreme, um, dude, he makes killer baits. And he does it mostly for fun to pay for his addiction. So I picked up a couple of these baits. Had a really awesome interview with Greg. Dude, he's, a, he's a, just a phenomenal human being. Uh, I love that conversation. That, he's just like so down to earth. He's a musky fisherman that just loves making baits. You could tell he loves it. And I just love that positivity and I love being around people like that. So I had to pick up a couple of his lures. I got the fire tiger, uh, the shad pattern, and then the secret sauce for one of our top lakes here in the state of Pencil Pennsylvania. So I went with the extremes. Um, I also picked up, this is like a new bait for me. This was a crossbones. I talked to them at the booth there and I had to pick at least one of these up. We did an interview. So that was just a cool little pickup. I figured this will be perfect for the Ago stick. So we're gonna give that a go. A couple other pickups here. Hans, Red October, the little wooden musky cutout. Dude, stuff like this makes my day. Look at all the tchotchkes behind me on my shelf. This is going there. I'm a little bit pumped up about that. I freaking love it. I love this stuff. So next, I wanna talk about a couple of the rubber baits. Um, you guys know that I, I, you know, I tried tubes last year. After listening to that seminar by Ken Trail, I, I had to do it. It was on my list. I wanted a 10 inch tube. Uh, I wanted it in black and I wanted it with the shallow rig. Similar to the podcast we're gonna put out there with Nick Colangelo. We talked about this. Um, not only did Nick talk about this in detail, but again, Ken Trail did, so I had to have it. I'm gonna try one to start, we'll see how it goes. If I don't snag it on the first cast, I will buy more. These flat out catch fish, black is the color. I'm excited to try the Red October 10 inch tube with that shallow rig. Um, really quick, my man Owen, Big O's Bucktails, picked me up another spinner bait, Big O's. This is not the same pattern that uh, Mike caught his on, but it's close. This is that black perch, but this is a gold skirt. Um, I just love gold. I've got a soft spot for gold. Um, and then lastly, guys, I wanna talk about this for a minute. Fat AZ Musky Products, 
You guys know the Sloppy Swimmer. It's one of the best rubber baits on the market. I think Andy was the one that created the paddle tail. I mean, dude, this bait is legit. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I bought this bait for Lake Arthur. That's like the Lake Arthur perch. This is a killer color there. I'm looking forward to throwing this guy, particularly in the creek. But notice this little dandy. If you guys can see that, it's like a little spinner bait attachment that Owen made. Okay, so there's the blade. I had Tom actually move the hooks from the bottom of the bait to the top of the bait. And Owen added this little spinner bait attachment. And I think this kind of just adds to it. Now I know Gear Man Steve from the, the Fat Easy Musky podcast. I know he does stuff like this. He showed me pictures, but I've never really played. And with Tom and Owen kind of playing with this uh, at the show, I think I really like this. He took like a thin line of wire and just moved that hook around. And then Owen added this attachment. Dude, I think this is just gonna give it a different look. And I'm just like really excited to see what this looks like. So cast it out, reel it back. You got the blade thumping. You got the paddle tail kicking. You got a really pretty painted rubber bait here with some hooks. I think this might actually catch me a good fish. And what I really like about this is, for the most part, you can let that hit the bottom and just drag bottom with it. So I'm really curious to see how this works. I'm just really pumped with my bait pickups and my selection. I'm really excited to run these miners and those matlocks and in the meats and all this other stuff the extremes and i'm just really pumped to put all this stuff in my case and just tuck it away for the future because this is my musky history and really i couldn't have done any of this i couldn't have had any of this if it wasn't for steve gold and zach baker and everybody that was involved in the new york musky expo so a huge thank you to all the vendors that came out a huge thank you to everybody that sold me baits. Just made my New York Muskie Expo experience just a super tremendous one. I can't thank all of you guys enough, and I'm just super pumped to have all this to run, to stock in my case, and play with for the 2022 season. Guys, that's what these shows can do for you. You can get out there, you can network, you can schedule trips, you can buy your gear, you can talk to these high-end professionals, listen to their seminars, pick their brains, and you guys can come away, you know, a better musky fisherman. Or if you're new to all this stuff, you can go out and get a really good idea for what the musky community has to offer and really what it's like to chase these wonderfully beautiful, frustrating fish. You know, bottom line, these shows give you some insight into musky fishing. These shows just give you so much to be excited about. You know, I, again, I love this stuff. I love buying baits. I just, I just love everything about these shows. So I hope to continue to do these videos. I hope that I can continue to be a part of musky shows. I would love to expand that, you know, maybe get out west a little bit. Um, you know, this is just something that I really thoroughly enjoy. I love being a part of. So, you know, I just want to thank Zach Baker and Steve Gold for including me you know, giving me the invite to come up there and shoot some film, take some pictures, and just be a part of the New York Muskie Expo. It was just such an awesome thing, and I'm just extremely thankful to those guys for everything they did for me, and just for me being able to go up there and do what I love and be a part of this stuff. You know, special thank you to all the vendors that showed up for the New York Muskie Expo. Uh, special thank you to all of the consumers, all the people that showed up to support the show. Um, that made this show special. I really would like to see more attendance next year. You know, I think Zach and Steve worked their tails off. The vendors worked their tails off. I would love to see that room jam packed. You know, you know, next year let's see a thousand people in that room, um, and let's let's get this thing going because I really do feel like this show could be around for a very long time. So guys, you know, drop me a message, shoot me a message, let me know how you guys did at the New York Muskie Expo. You know, shoot me some pictures of your bait pickups. I love seeing that stuff. I love understanding what guys are, you know, essentially buying to fish. Um, that's just fun for me. Um, you know, and guys like, you know, this was the finale to musky show season. This was it. This was the last chance to get out there and talk to guys like Evan and Zach and Paul and Duff and the Red October guys and Hans and Big O's Bucktails and Greg at Extreme. You know, it just this was the last opportunity to do that. So 
You know, looking forward to show season 2023. Right now, it's time to fish. I'm gonna get out on the water. And we're gonna catch some fish on this gear that we picked up this year. I'm just super excited about that. So guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed my recap of the New York Muskie Expo. Hopefully I did this thing justice. I really want these videos to show you guys how awesome this stuff is. That's my entire goal. Hopefully I did that with this video. If you guys like this video, hit that like button. If you guys like this content overall, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks again to Zach and thanks again to Steve for all your hard work putting the show together. Thank you to Katia for handling all of the stuff you did. And again, thank you to everybody that came out on beautiful Chautauqua Lake to be a part of this. Again, looking forward to next year. Um, so thank you all very much. And I'm looking forward to getting out there on the water this upcoming Saturday. Super jacked about that. So let's go. Season's kicked off here in PA. Guys are catching fish. All that's left for me to say is check out the New York Muskie Expo in 2023. Tight lines. We'll see you next time.